Hey friends, welcome back. Today I've got our back to school supply shopping haul for you for my first grader and my kindergartner. If you're new around here, I do hope that you enjoy the video. Consider hitting the subscribe button to be a part of the family. We'd love to have you. And also go ahead and check me out on Instagram if you are not subscribed there as well. But today I've got our back to school supply haul. My children are going into kindergarten and first grade. My daughter Alice is the kindergartner and Jackson is the first grader. They will be attending the same school this year, which is a change from last year when she was in preschool and attended different schools. Totally off topic, but I got all of our back to school supplies purchased plus some lunch goodies and their back to school shoes. This is not going to include any back to school clothing because they really don't need much right now. These are the lists. They're pretty long. The top portion is necessary supplies, the bottom portion is classroom wish list, and I usually try to grab a few things off of there as well. The items that we send in will pretty much last the entire year. They don't request more crayons or markers or anything like that midway through the year. The only thing they typically request are the things they run out of, such as Kleenex and hand sanitizer and Expo markers, because we have whiteboards in our classrooms, not chalkboards. I think for the actual supplies portion, I spent less than $50 for both kids. That doesn't include like their lunch boxes and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Jackson needed a pencil box for first grade so he picked out this black one. Not a surprise there, he loves the color black. I think we got that from Walmart. Most of the stuff is from Walmart. A few things are from Staples and then a few things are from Amazon. Both kids each needed a pair of Fiskars brand pointed tip scissors. Jackson picked out red. That's one of his favorite colors and Alice got purple. For markers, Jackson's class requested just regular Crayola markers, not washable, but Alice in kindergarten, they do want washable markers. Washable markers are like three times the price as regular. Like I think I paid a dollar 98 cents, something like that for these, and these were $2.77 a piece. Crayons, crayons, and more crayons. Six boxes of crayons. I don't remember how many each kid needed. Maybe it's three and three or two and four or something, but we have a whole bunch of crayons. 50 cents box, can't beat it. Jackson's class needs post-it notes. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't know what they're gonna use them for, but I sang this at Staples. It was like $2 for five pads of post-its. The Expo markers. Expo markers are not cheap. I try to find the best deal and I was able to score these on Amazon. This is a box of 36 and it is the multicolored. I don't know if they want multicolored, but I figured this would have to do. There's 36 markers in here, um, black, blue, red, green, and purple. They are the chisel tip and they are low odor, which are what they requested. So I figured I will just split this box and send half of it in with Jack and half in with Alice. And that's still more than what they requested. So that way it'll last longer throughout the year. Highlighters were actually on the optional list, but on Amazon for Prime Day, I was able to score these Bic brand. They are the skinny ones, again, I don't know if it matters, but 24 Bic highlighters, multicolors. You got yellow, pink, orange, green, and blue for like $3.50 a box. So I grabbed one box for each classroom. When it comes to binders, kindergarten requests a half inch binder, first grade requests a one inch binder. Both white with the clear view pocket in the front. Uh, if it's anything like last year for Jackson, they, this is the binder they keep in their backpack. It gets sent home daily. It has their daily report, like how their behavior was. It has any, their reading log, their sight words, etc. And then I would assume for first grade, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing, reading logs, etc. When it comes to erasers, kindergarten requests the white polymer, um, high polymer erasers and first grade requested the pink erasers. Alice needed two bottles of white school glue. I think those were 50 cents a piece at Walmart. All the glue sticks. Uh, I was gonna buy in bulk on Amazon. They had like 36 of them for $10 or whatever. So that made them like 36 cents per stick. But Walmart had the two packs for 50 cents. So that's 25 a stick. So I went this route. Jackson's list only requested four. So that takes care of two. And then Alice needed nine glue sticks. So I just bought 10 because two packs. Do kindergartners just like eat glue sticks? Why do they go through so many glue sticks? I don't even know. Jackson needed a clipboard and then on the optional list for Alice's class list was a clipboard. So I just bought it because it was in a two pack at Walmart for like $1.88 or something like that. Jack needed two pocket pronged folders in the colors red and blue. So got those for him. These were from Staples. It was one of their like cheap 
deals. I got the plasticky ones, so I figure those will hold up a lot better than the paper ones. Hopefully that's okay, it didn't specify, but I figured if it's going in and out of a backpack, this would be easier. Jackson also needed uh, the Write and Erase 5-Tab Dividers. I'm guessing this will go in his binder. On Alice's optional list was sheet protectors. I know when Jackson was in kindergarten, they used these in their binders to put their sight words and stuff in so that the lists would hold up longer throughout the year. Um, so I got a pack of 25 for like $1.88 or something. So I figured I'd grab that. And even though it wasn't mandatory, it was cheap. So I picked those up for Alice's classroom list. Almost done with the school supplies and then I'll show you some of the other fun stuff. In kindergarten they use something called a primary composition notebook. These can sometimes be hard to find and they are not very cheap when you're comparing them to like the regular comp notebooks. So a primary composition notebook, if you have not had younger children, has room up top for a picture and then the wide lines on the bottom for writing. So this is good for early writers and early readers and stuff like that. Alice needed three of those and they were about three dollars a piece at Staples. For Jackson he just needed three of the regular composition notebooks. So these are the wide ruled. I did get three different colors. It didn't specify but I figure I don't know, I'd be fun. So I got black, blue, and red for him. And those were 50 cents a piece of staples. Another optional item on Alice's classroom list was baby wipes. So I just picked up a package of the Parents Choice from Walmart. There was an Ibotta for 25 cents off, so I was like, why not? For other items on the optional list that I don't physically have here with me, um, I did order some Lysol wipes during Amazon Prime Day. So I'll send in a canister of Lysol wipes with each child. I got a bunch of hand sanitizer, the Baby Gannix brand on Prime Day as well for super cheap. Um, so I'll send those in. I have both foam and like the gel ones. Uh, they didn't specify a brand on hand sanitizer and I honestly don't think they probably care because they go through it constantly. I also have some paper towels that I'll probably send in that was on the optional list. Let me look at the optional list and see what else I had on there. Oh, Play-Doh. I've got some unopened Play-Doh that I'm going to send in with Alice's um, bag of stuff because that was requested. They use Play-Doh during their free time and circle time and stuff like that. And then Kleenex. If I can score a good deal on Kleenex, I'll probably send in a few boxes of that. Sometimes Ibotta has Kleenex deals on there. I haven't seen any lately, but I'm going to check, um, keep my eye on for it because I would think that they would have it on there for either back to school or shortly after school starts for cough and cold season. Could be wrong, but if you guys notice any of the back to school stuff on Ibotta, drop me a comment down below in case I miss it. I know it varies by region, but also if you're not on Ibotta, check out the link below because I save a ton of money on just my everyday like groceries and snacks and stuff to put in like kids' lunches. Speaking of kids' lunches, I got new lunch boxes for the kids. Um, they will probably do hot lunch some days and then home lunch some days. It just kind of depends. Jackson picked out this lunch box. This is a Wildkin lunch box from Amazon. I will leave a link down below so you can check it out. There's a ton of patterns. It has an external zipper pocket here for if you wanted to put like napkins or condiment packets or anything like that. And then the inside is pretty standard. There's room here in this pocket for the ice pack which I bought the flat ice packs I'll show you in a second. And then on the inside here, there's room, there's this band that you can put like the water bottle in or a drink or et cetera. Alice didn't like any of the Wildkin patterns per se. She specifically wanted a unicorn one. This is a Keeley Kids. Again, I'll link it down below, but it has cute little unicorns and gems. It's a little cartoony for my like, but she's five and she's going into kindergarten, so really who am I to complain? Again, zipper pocket on the outside and then the inside looks pretty much the same as the wild pin. You've got your mesh pocket here. And then the only difference is there are multiple, it's got like bands here for, I would guess silverware maybe? A gogurt would pr probably fit there too. And then the band for um, water bottle over here. Now. I did want to make sure that I got this style because on Zulily, I don't have them here with me because Zulily takes a little bit to ship, but I ordered them Bentgo boxes this year and I'll insert pictures here. They're super cute. I got them fun colors and I wanted to make sure that they would fit in here. So the dimensions of both of these should fit the Bentgo boxes. Alice's is a slight tad bit bigger than the Wildkin one is. Um, but I read reviews and there are people that use the Bentgo boxes in the Wildkin, so I should be safe. I just don't have them in person with me yet. 
to um, try them. For the ice packs, as I mentioned, I like the flat ones because they slip into the pockets on here and you can also stick one on like one under the bento box and then one in the pocket. These are just the Walmart ones, the Mainstays brand. I grabbed two. They were only $1.50 a piece. So $3 for six ice packs. If these for some reason don't hold up well, I will probably get one of the better brands. Bentgo actually makes their own to go with their Bentgo boxes, but they were like a three pack for $7. And so I figured I would try this route first because it's cheaper. Now, Alice did need, well, not need. She has a Contigo water bottle with a straw that she uses at home. She's not a big water drinker, so I she doesn't use it a whole ton, but we're trying to switch her to drink more water. Jackson pretty much only drinks water, and he has a bottle of this size. This is the 20 ounce Contigo bottle with a spout. So there's a, you squeeze the button here, and it opens the spout. Anyway, he keeps it in his backpack at school. I wanted the same style and size for Alice. She picked out this one. We got this at Meijer. It was $11.99 with 20% off, so it was actually cheaper than what I could get on Amazon. And then another item I don't have is I got Alice a pink, so it matches her lunchbox thermos, uh, the Funtainer food container, like the little 10 ounce one, for hot foods. Jackson has a black one with the Batman symbol on it that if you've watched any of my What's in My Children's Lunchbox videos, which I'll link one up top just to show you what I'm talking about, but he's got the Batman one and so he didn't need a new one this year, so she got the pink one. And I'm glad I waited because it wasn't on sale on Prime Day, but the day after Prime Day it was the deal of the day and I got it for $10. That's all their lunch goodies. The only other thing that I picked up that they really needed is their school shoes. And we went to Meijer and they had Vila brand shoes on sale. This is what Alice got. So they still wear Velcro shoes, but they're cute. She liked the colors. Um, she has a ton of sandals and stuff left from summer that she'll be able to wear, but she didn't have any tennis shoes for gym. So I wanted to make sure that she had tennis shoes. Jackson has very few shoes. He has like one pair of Crocs, one pair of sandals, and one pair of shoes from last school year and his shoes are destroyed. Um, the funny thing is the shoes that he has, I got them on Amazon. They lasted about as long as I expected for a cheap pair of like off-brand $15 shoes, but they look almost identical to this. These are Fila as well. These were on sale for $21 at Meijer. Sport shoes, Velcro. He really likes red and black, so it worked out well. So that's what I got him. And that's it so far. The only other things that I think I need to get clothing wise, they're pretty set at least until fall hits because around here, central Kentucky, they're still wearing summer clothes through like almost the beginning of October. So they don't need anything yet. And I stacked up on fall clothes last year on clearance from places like Children's Place, um, Crazy 8, Walmart, wherever I found good clearance deals for fall clothing, I stacked up and they're in the closet already waiting for them. Alice does need a few short sleeve shirts because she mostly has tank tops for summer and she can't wear tank tops to school. So I do need to grab her a few short sleeve shirts to go along with her shorts and leggings and stuff. But other than that, the kids are set on clothing. I scored some socks and stuff for them um, on Prime Day, just starter brand sports socks. Let me know if you've done your back to school shopping yet. Is your list as long as mine was or are they super simple? Oh, you might have noticed there were no pencils on this list. The pencils are on the list, but our school's PTA so graciously funded the pencils for every student in every class K through five. So I didn't have to buy pencils this year. If you are familiar with Ticonderoga pencils, that's what our school requests. And they're not always cheap, but I actually had scored prior to knowing that the school was going to pay for them, a big box of 96 pencils, Ticonderoga pencils on Amazon for $10 but I'll just keep them in the closet in case they request more during the year or save them for next year. That's my school supply shopping. Again, drop me a comment. Let me know if you've done your school supply shopping, where you found your best deals, if your list was long like mine or short. Different schools, different rules. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.